Here is this weird looking fossil. That's like a fish, scale. What we got? Oh, that's a nice one. Some detail. Holy cow. Where is that one at? Welcome back to another adventure, my fellow miners, prospectors, and rock hounders. It's always good to see each and every one of you. And if you're new to my channel, big warm welcome. I hope you like what you see today and you decide to subscribe. I'm back at the location where I find large ammonites. Today I'm going to walk upstream where we've never walked before. It's always been really deep of water. In my last videos back in the fall you know the water was bank to bank well now it's august the water level is super low as you can see behind me so we should be able to get upstream to some areas where not too many people go and may find some really good stuff so i hope you all stick around and enjoy the video we also have the super heavy duty flex bolt dewalt battery this will help out a bunch with rd1 here's another one that could use the uh, rd1 yes yeah, things broken it's not really worth getting that's really cool though it has some other type of shells formed into it yeah, see it broke. Not worth it. Let's go try to find a complete ammonite. That's the goal. That's where we got the one. Look at these crane prints in the water. Looks like some raccoon as well. And that's where we're headed all right now that we're back with a fresh battery we can get this ammonite out and see what it's gonna look like so we'll start off with this one and after that I'm gonna work my way on down past the uh, dammed up area okay we got the ammonite from over there and right here is this weird looking fossil i mean that right there is scaly that's like a fish scale i don't know if you know what that could be leave a comment and should i dig this up not sure about this bit the new one it's really it's a lot thicker then the tile, so let's go with the tile bit. You can see how this one, the tile, it's just thinner. It's got an angle to it. We'll try it out, see if it works any better. Oh yeah, so much better. All right, I've been at it for a while and this is just not wanting to break loose. So that tells me it could be really thick or it's just really stuck in there. Nice, really good detail on this one so far. All right, this is really cool. It's uh, for sure a complete ammonite. You can see here where it starts and then it spirals all the way and goes in and if we can just keep going without breaking it i don't see any cracks so that's a good sign so this may be a good one once it comes up uh, i'm going to change the bit to that one 
and see what it does. It's helping a lot it's actually getting more up underneath like deeper changing bits ah. Finally. Woo. Okay, got it loose. Needs to be all the way around. Nice and loosened up. Let's go ahead and hit it a little more over here. All right, here it goes. Let's see what we got. Oh, wow. Now that's some detail, folks. Woo! That's a nice one. That's got some really good detail, and it's a complete ammonite all the way. What I don't want to do is take this home and hit this with water or pressure, because it'll knock that centerpiece out. All right, we got it up. That thing is awesome. All right. That took about 20 minutes. Time for a safety meeting. Ooh, that last one right there kicked my butt. Thought I'd take a safety meeting and do some surface hunting. Let me know if you see anything cool worth picking up. Lots of rocks out here. It's easy to miss something. I was walking and I tripped over this ammonite. Let's dig it up. Right. Do you see what I see in the water? Let's get out there and get it. Ugh, huge. Oh, thing is humongous. It's not even a complete ammonite. Here's the start of it. Ugh. God, that thing is like 45 pounds. Caught my eye. I was taking my uh, safety meeting. Not bad. Not bad at all. Getting closer to those uh, car tire size. Yeah, okay. Maybe a lawnmower. We're getting to the lawnmower size ammonites. It's just a matter of time, we will find one the size of a car. And here comes Mr. Sun, looking at around 90 degrees in the sun. I'm still in the shade right here for about another 5-10 minutes. I can see this sucker wrapping all the way around to a complete ammonite. So let's dig it up. Go do some surface hunting. Okay, I just checked the battery. This big battery's got an indicator. So it lets me know we've already used one of the uh, indicators. And there's all kinds of little bugs in this water. And those two are fighting. Whew, been at it for a while. You can see it's a complete ammonite. 
and it's about to break free. 60 million years plus laying right here. There it goes. All right. Well, this one here, it looks like it's still gonna have some of the mud slash matrix it's basically mud there's not really a you know it's just old ancient mud all right, i think all those nasty little bugs are gone i got a lot of cuts on my hands i don't want want any to go up inside my cuts i see it's still got mud on it but hey, that's a good piece for the flower bed as you can see there's still mud slash matrix whatever it's basically mud, old, old mud, but a really large ammonite to take home. That's complete. Thanks, buddy. All right, time to start heading up stream for the first time and see what's way up there. I see all types of rocks and more gravel bars just like this. But I can't go that way because it's still really deep. So I'm going to have to work my way, hopefully, through that channel like I did in a video before. But before we head off, check out this feather. Looks like maybe a dove. If you know what type of bird this came off of, let me know. I like to say feathers. Okay, I got across the creek. And here's another feather. A lot bigger that's awesome that's got to be off a hawk that's one big dove here's the ammonite I think we've saw that before but over here I noticed one we can take home there we go there's a nice small not the best formation but it's a small complete ammonite and right here beside it is some of that uh, make sure there's no spiders mainly black widows shouldn't be because this gets flooded but you never know being in a long drought or be going without rain like we've been but yeah here's some of that i can take home some type of ancient coral plant life and then the ammonite so far crossing the creek was a good idea never be afraid to cross the creek and see what's on the other side. Not far from the first few finds, we've got a large chunk of this stuff. It's like some big uh, plant from like, you know, coral. To me, it'd be like, a, might be a huge foot. There's the, it's like a huge uh, shoe, like a heel. Yeah, it's some type of plant. I'm assuming if you know what that is leave a comment please you take that home and that thing is really heavy about 50 pounds 55 pounds jeez yeah almost looks like a, a high hill right across from there there's that huge tree thing right here in the water another ammonite awesome a little busted up over three quarters it would have started to turn in right there so just missing that little section right there sweet all right i've already got the other two over across the water uh, yeah three seconds later i walk right over here 
need RD1 for that one. We could chisel around around that. Oh yeah, and it'd be a, a good one. Oh gosh, ow. Those aren't still toe. Dang. So yeah, we could definitely bring RD1 over and get that one out now. We could come over here and get this one out. Takes a lot of battery. Definitely gonna need a couple of those larger batteries. Right, let's go across this. Oh, right here, there's one. They're everywhere. You come out here, you'll find ammonites. You know, I'm just seeing what I see. Other people are looking at different angles and you can see them. It's really hard to just see everything. Not seeing much over there. I don't want to continue on. We're trying to get on that side over there and it's just so much water still. Uh, may have to invest in a kayak. Time to walk through the valley of Ammonites. Made it out of the little channel, coming up to an opening. And right here we have something sticking out. Let's see what it could be. Oh gosh, I didn't bring the hammer. That could be a complete Ammonite, but it's not. I think I'll give that away to one of my patrons in one of their giveaway prizes as a bonus. Cool. So we have made it to the other side that we've never could get to. And I can cross there for sure and try to get up that way. I thought I just saw a fish jump. All kinds of weird stuff in the water. You never know what you'll see in the water. We definitely want to go across and walk that way that's what i noticed where all the rocks were but check out this ammonite complete yep Ooh, wow and this got some detail we'll come back and check that one out once the mud settles a spider web and here is something we haven't seen. Two ammonites side by, <laughs> make that three. One, two, three ammonites in one. And that could be taken home easily. Here's one. Probably a piece of one. <clears throat> yep. They're everywhere. There's one, uh, complete, just about. Yep, it is. Here it goes, spirals in right there, and it's just got the mud on it. That's a really good detail right in here. So that's a keeper. They're, they're everywhere, folks, and they're not small, if you've noticed. It's hard to get a small ammonite. Wow, check this one out. Woo! Wow, that's a good one. Heck yeah, just laying there on the surface. May have to give that one away to my uh, Patreon giveaways. Or I could save that for YouTube once we reach 10,000 subscribers. An imprint, a really good one. Man, that thing's got some detail. Holy cow. Where's that one at? <laughs> oh man. That ammonite fits perfect in my poke, thanks to my sister. Christmas gift many years ago. Supposed to be in used for electrical work, but I retired from that many years ago. Hard to find anybody that pays. There's another one, but not the best. Not even worth really taken back okay but here is the other side i wanted to get to we are normally way over there you can see my bag probably not <laughs> it's so far away so we made it over here 
There's a piece of one. So it's time to scope it out. There's an ammonite. But yeah, I wanted to get up along this type of area, which most of it has collapsed into the uh, water. So that over there is lower. This is much higher. I don't know if that's a good thing. If that means there's material here that's going to pay out. There's the ammonite up in there. This stuff is super slippery. Whew. Yeah, I mean, I got like so much weight. One slip, I'm in that creek on my head. Okay, here's some drier stuff. Okay. But yeah, if I find something over here, I'd have to go get the hammer drill and oh, that'd be another trip. Just coming over here to see if I need to make a trip. So far, I'm not seeing anything. It's about 100 degrees down in here. There's no breeze whatsoever. Not seeing anything but signs of a water mosquito oil thank the oil industry that runs off and that goes to dallas fort worth and that's what y'all drink all right i made it to the side that i've been wanting to come to ever since i first came out here and there's lots of ammonites we found some good ones over here but i don't see anything just laying right here on this bed of mud like we see over on that other side now maybe up here we will because it's a lot lower and that may be the fossil layer is lower like that other side is yeah here we go we're getting down pretty low might see something oh yep yeah, here we go really low look at that there was one there and there's still one right there so the fossil layer that we want they're up even in this layer, but the ones with the really sharp spikes in the detail I've noticed are down lower in the, in the much older fossil bed. And we're back on the other side to show you the one that's in the water. It's complete. It'd be fun to chisel out. And there's a fish it just came up looked like a small uh carp that's a really that's pretty deep right there you're looking at probably six seven feet making my way back to the truck and since i'm coming from a different angle i noticed this one it's a good size one. It's really good detail. It's busted right here. Busted up there. But man, that thing was a monster. I guess we'll let him stay there. We'll let you stay there, buddy. Here's a small piece. I could give that to one of my Patreons in their uh, weekly giveaways that I have. just pick that piece up laying right there another good one to give away that'll almost just sit up on a table flat surface It'll just sit there all right well it's getting to be about 100 degrees i've had all the fun i want out here to get everything carried back from this side all the way to my truck <laughs> And uh, it's gonna take a good minute. Check this one out. Not the best ammonite, but it's a small one. Oh, put the spider on it. Anyways, thanks again everybody for watching and I'll see you on the next video.